Matt Morris. Welcome to the Unemployed Millionaire Show here in uh, Belize again. Actually, uh, hanging out at a little tapas restaurant here, uh, here on the beach. And I uh, just wanted to take a quick minute to get away to give you a quick, um, a quick nugget that you can use um, in your business. This is something you probably will want to share with your teams, and uh, you know, just think it can help you with what is the number one skill in network marketing. I believe this is the one thing that if you want to get really, really good, and make a lot of money. If you get good at this, this is going to be more important than just about anything else, and that is inviting. You see, you can be a really bad presenter because you can let other people or presentation tools do the pres presenting for you. You don't have to be a great speaker. You know, it boils down to you getting the most people in front of the in front of the business. You don't have to be the best closer because if you show it to enough people, the people who are really going to be the leaders, they're going to see it. They know, they don't need to be necessarily closed. They're going to kind of close themselves in a lot of cases. Um, but the one thing, if you don't get good at inviting and that showing people the business. So you're, you're going to struggle in network marketing. And so I just want to give you one quick thing that can help you out. And I, I think it's a lot. And this uh, kind of goes back to a friend of mine, uh, Byron. Now, Byron was always referring to our uh, company as um, an idea. And, uh, you know, when he's inviting people to look at it, he's calling it an idea. And I thought it was, why are you calling it an idea? This is a business. And... The more I understood it from a psychological standpoint, the more it made sense. And the more I started using, the better it worked. It was like, wow, I can't believe I've gone all these years without using uh, this word. And it's the word idea. You see, what happens is, and you've probably heard, the less you say, the more you make. You don't want to give someone an opportunity to prejudge your opportunity because then they make uh, an uninformed decision. Uh, with a limited amount of data and so I've always kind of believed that you know don't don't show them anything until you can show them everything don't tell them anything until you can show them everything uh, because what happens is the human mind makes associations you know when you say a certain word your mind has to make an association that's how our, that's how it works so if I were to say the word jungle what comes to mind? You know, you immediately think of, I don't know, a monkey, a lion, a gorilla, something like that, that you associate it to something else. And so when you say, I've got an opportunity for you, the mind immediately associates to that, to, to something else, possibly something negative. Uh, maybe it was an Amway presentation they went to years ago. Who knows? They just associate it to something negative. You, you say your product, they associate it to a product maybe that, um, you know, that they had a bad experience with previously. And so using the word idea is, hey, I've got an idea that I'm working on. I've got an idea that I need to run past you. The mind doesn't associate something necessarily negative with the word idea. So if you're sending someone a text message, hey, uh, uh, when can we get together for coffee? You've got an idea I need to run past you. Um, what is it? Well, it's 90% visual. It'd be impossible to try and explain over the phone, uh, either by text, invite, however you do your invite. Start using the word idea and just notice how you have so many less questions that come up. So I hope that helps you. Uh, as always, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel here. Love to hear your comments below. And if you're not subscribed to my newsletter at mattmorris.com, make sure you hop over there. Put your name and email address in so you can and make sure you get all my video updates. Take care. Bye-bye.